Hello everyone, it is Kyle and you are tuned into the swap. So, uh, second video today, uh, as you can see, wearing the same thing. Um, we're going to be talking about district app. Um, so district is basically um, a decentralized social media network that empowers users that it's 100% on chain uh, and it's built on internet computer protocol. Um, so kind of similar uh, to, to the series video that we did. Um, District is like a mix of Twitter and LinkedIn, um, just to, you know, kind of separate the two. Um, very, very useful uh, application, and uh, it, it's quite, uh, quite nice, as you can kind of see the interface a little bit here. I'm basically going to be showing you how to, um, you know, create an account and uh, utilize the platform today. So uh, here is their recent tweet, and it's pinned. Uh, we heard you were looking for Web3 Twitter, look no further, 100% on-chain, privacy preserving, collects no data, and shows you only what you want to, uh, what you want to uh, subscribe to. Uh, come say hi, we have a friendly community, and you can type in district.app, so, um, which is also their Twitter page. So uh, if you're looking to follow them on Twitter, you can do so there. Now, um, I do have their site open, and I'm actually creating uh, an account today, uh, which I'm going to be showing you uh, something that you'll actually need. Um, well, if you're going to use internet identity, you're going to need a private key. Um, and I'll take it off my PC real quick. Um, so as you can see, it's like a little USB. So I'll get that up closer. Um, just so you're aware, uh, you'll need a USB private key um, if you're going to be using internet identity um, and I'll, I'll have a link for one in the bio um, or a couple in the bio so you guys can kind of do your research and find which one's uh, convenient for you um, and then I'll also do an internet identity video later on so log in uh, using your internet uh, internet identity or sign up with your internet identity um, let's sign up because I don't believe I made one with this account um, so now I have to touch my security key. So that's exactly what uh, I was showing you before. So boom. Oh, what? Maybe I have an account with this one. Oh, no. All right, here we go. So yeah, basically I just touched the button on that and then everything should be all good. So uh, I do have a stop axe cap account with the, the the display name as the swap um, you can only make a name once so it says choose your name carefully it can't be changed uh, I made that mistake <laughs> um, because I, I should have placed it as the swap initially so uh, I will uh, have to address that on district once uh, this account's created oh man and they ask you some really tough questions so So as you can see, we're getting logged in here. Our account's made. Um, so I guess we will go to the profile. Um, make uh, We can use a ICP NFT. Let me see if I have one here. I know I do. Um, I have a bunch. Go with the Astro Samurai. You guys are seeing part of my collection. <laughs> um, and as you can see, this NFT is on chain. So we're just going to grab this link um, and we're going to post it here. And hopefully, hopefully, the Samurai will show up. Boom. That's not the Samurai. <laughs> That's the pod. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get back to that later but uh, maybe it just doesn't show up because um, there's a glitch, so they just show one of theirs. Um, but we will get uh, NFT up there. Um, and as you can see, you can check out your collection of NFTs on District. So if we got sent anything, we have a principal ID, which is basically a wallet address um, for Internet Computer. Um, Internet Computer has a wallet address, and they have a principal ID, so you can transfer things back and forth through principal IDs, just so we're clear there. Um, and obviously there's not much going to this profile because there's not it's a, it's a fresh account so we can 
add in like a projects and experience here. Um, so this basically is like the LinkedIn part of part of things. Um, now I'll go to the feed. As you can see district official, um, and uh, you can see a bunch of pro projects posting, mostly district here, right? So uh, we have a notifications bar, and then we have a stream. So the stream is expand your world, get out of your bubble, and discover a wider community. And there's interesting things that we're uh, that are talking about in the stream. You'll see a feed of it, the latest post from around district. So uh, I'm actually gonna make a post. Hello, district. It's uh, this should pull me up there. YouTube video right now. Web three. All right, cool. So yeah, every everyone's gonna see me posting this. Uh, if you call it a fake post, uh, you guys are misinformed. So we'll, we'll have the video posted and stuff here. Um, and then we have private messages that you can you can go through. And then articles. So um, basically, uh, dis district has uh, a medium and and other uh, platforms that they use to help pump up uh, their their social status um, and you know they're they're really good at formulating their their own articles and so on um, they're a pretty big big uh, project on on the internet computer and I'm pretty sure they have a pretty big uh, neuron if I'm not mistaken um, but you know as you can see uh, you guys can um, uh, see their platform and, and see how easy and fluid it is um, they definitely did some upgrades it was uh, a bit slower before um, and it uh, looks like uh, the being able to do photos, post photos is getting a lot easier before um, it like for one reason for, for myself, I post a lot of like photo content and on here because it's stored on chain, they limit it to one megabyte per photo. Um, and a lot of my photos actually ended up being beyond that. So it, it was tough for me to upload here pretty frequent. Um, but now that I'm on my PC and not using my laptop as much, um, I basically want to uh, move StockX Capital onto the swap here. So, so I'm going to be posting more from the PC, not the laptop. Uh, but I'll still use both accounts. I just want to start making a presence here, which is easier to update for myself. Um, and then we can go through the the settings. You can see the the themes. Um, we can switch amongst. Um, but yeah, we'll go back to the stream real quick and we can kind of see some interesting, interesting things going on. Um, we'll try to post at least twice a day here onwards towards my transition to district. Yeah, we'll like that. All right. Cool. So uh, I think you guys get the idea of District now. There is a mobile app too, so make sure you're looking out for that. Uh, you should be able to find it in the iOS uh, Apple Store or Google Play Store. Um, and then I'm not sure if NFID connects to this or if it's going to be something that um, is available later on. Um, but we will also get uh, a internet identity video up. And as I mentioned before, I'll have a security key available in the link or a couple available a couple different options for people to kind of browse through and kind of see if it's worth it um, i think mine was only like 15 to 20 bucks um, just for a general idea just so you guys are aware um, but yeah um you know make sure you check it out there's there's a lot of cool things um actually real quick before i end it uh, let me let me check out stop x cap so as you can see the swap here, uh, we have 624 followers um, and you can see the experience here, as, as I mentioned before in the start of the video, um, you can just kind of see what projects and stuff that I'm on, what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so you guys get the understanding for district. Uh, I'm going to get this video out. If you guys have anything else that you'd like um, reviewed or, you know, just kind of talked about with, I, uh, with ICP in general, just let me know and uh, voice that below in the video. Please like and subscribe. So thank you all.